Hello, my name is Colin Smith and I'm a Senior Solutions Consultant for Adobe Systems. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to use Adobe SpeedGrade. Specifically, I'll be showing you direct link to connect SpeedGrade to Premiere Pro. SpeedGrade is a color grading application that allows you to create color grades and looks. What is a grade? A grade is usually two things. First of all, it's a color correction to make a neutral clip. Neutral meaning that if there are any gray colors in that clip, they appear as gray. And the clip is not overly balanced into the green or the blue or the red. Everything is neutral. On top of that, you can create a style. And that style can make things look completely different. As an example, if you think of a detective film noir and you think of a science fiction movie, they both look completely different. They have a certain style and that style can be applied as a color grade. If you haven't already, you need to download the pizza and coffee tutorial files. You also need to be updated to the latest version of SpeedGrade in Premiere Pro CC. Upgrade to at least version 7.1 or higher. Next, we need to open the Premiere Pro project that you've downloaded. To do that, launch Premiere Pro and choose Open Project. Look for the Pizza and Coffee tutorial Premiere Pro project and click Open. At this point, it also makes sense to go to the window menu, workspace, make sure editing is selected, and choose reset current workspace. Click yes. That way your workspace will look the same as mine. In the bottom left hand side, this is where we have our assets. And on the right, we can see the timeline with all of the assets loaded. If you're looking at a relink dialog box, I'll show you how to relink your media. If your media is already linked, you don't need to do this. This is what you'll get if your media is unlinked. You'll get a prompt from Premiere Pro to relink your media. The important button to have selected here is relink others automatically, then click locate. Find the clip that you're looking for, which will be in the footage folder in the color grading tutorial. Select OK and Premiere Pro should find and load each one of the other clips. Remember, you only need to relink if in fact you are missing your clips. All right, let's go through this timeline and just look at some of the problems. So at the beginning, we can see this opens up with uh, two guys in there making coffee. And there's a couple of shots here that seem excessively dark, definitely way too dark. They're shot on a number of different cameras with different lighting. And you can see in this shot, this one definitely looks better, but I would call this one a little bit on the warm side. We can call clips warm and cool. And if you look at this one, it's a little bit more cool. Cool meaning it is actually a little more bluish. And this one is a little bit more orange or red. You'll notice also that this clip and this clip and this clip are all the same camera. And the good thing is when we color correct one of these in speed grade, we'll be able to apply that correction to each one of the duplicates of that particular clip. This one happens to be much, much brighter and it's also more neutral. You'll notice that it isn't overly uh, red or blue, although this is a little bit more bluish, very, very slightly. So now we need to take this sequence and bring it into speed grade. And what's important to note is that we are bringing all of the project, that's every single asset inside here, into speed grade, not just this one clip, and not just this one timeline. It's also important to note what you have selected before you move to speed grade. So you'll notice this orange line around the outside of this sequence. This is my sequence panel. On the left hand side, I have an orange line in here. If you just want to open 
this sequence directly, then select this, and that's what we want to do. Go to the File menu and choose Direct Link to Adobe SpeedGray. Premiere Pro will prompt you to save the sequence. Click Yes. Here we have our sequence open in SpeedGray. If I drag along here, this is our playhead, and I can drag at the top or at the bottom, you can see we're looking at the same clips. And I'll give you a quick little tour of the interface here. On the top is a viewer where we get to see our clips. In the middle is our timeline where all our clips are laid out. On the bottom left, we have our layers, and this is where we're going to create a look along with our wheels and trackballs inside here. We can also save grades down at the bottom, and on the right we can save snapshots and masks. If you tap the A key for the analysis tools, it will open up our scopes. Scopes are a scientific way to display what is going on in a specific clip. We'll use these scopes to help us balance the clips in the next tutorial.